2023. Obaseki can no longer deceive Edo people. APC will win 75% of votes in Edo State. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us once again on the channel. We'd like to say a very big welcome to you all. Please do well to like, share, and subscribe to our channel if you are joining us for the very first time. Now, to all of our existing subscribers, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our posts as they come your way. Now, we promise to keep bringing you nothing but authentic and verified news happenings around the country. Thank you and God bless you. Now, on today's report, we see that um, Chief Francis Inegbeki, who is one of the chieftains of the All Progressives Congress in Edo State, has said that um, Governor Godwin Obaseki of Edo State can no longer deceive the Edo State people anymore, saying that um, in the general elections coming up, um, February 25th, 2023, um, APC will actually win 75% of Edo State votes. Now, we know that Edo State is a PDP-led state. Um, the present government is under the um, party of the People's Democratic Party. And so far, we've seen that um, in electoral processes and elections over the years, um, the party of the ruling governor is sometimes majorly the party that actually wins that particular state at that point. But um, we see Chief Francis in Egwekin saying that um, at this coming election, it will no longer be possible, um, saying that the APC would actually win 75% of Edo State's votes, saying that um, Obaseki can no longer deceive the Edo State people and they are ready to vote a change come february 25th now not only um are we am I, are we saying that chief francis inegwe king's um speculations may not be correct um but um the apc winning 75 percent of Edo state's force uh that seems to be like more on a long run now um, we know that nigerians generally um, are tired of the APC-led government. So far, we can see that for the past seven and a half years, um, there is really nothing to write home about about um, the APC-led government. And we see that Nigerians so far have been vying for a change in government, have been fighting for a change in leadership um, could come this February 25th election. So saying that the APC will win 75%, that is like on a long run. But well, anything is possible, actually. Well, we're going to go into the details um, of today's report and then we'll see. Now, Chief Francis Inegbeke is a chieftain of the All Progressives Congress, has said that the governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, would no longer be able to deceive the people of Edo State in the general elections coming up in a matter of weeks. Now, he made the disclosure in an interview with the press at his residence in Benin City, the Edo State capital, over the weekend. Now, Chief Inegweke, the Ozoya of Esan Land, said that Godwin Obaseki would no longer be able to deceive the people of Edo State because they have all come to understand that he is a deceiver whose only intention is to deceive the people with bogus and white elephant projects only meant to hoodwink and bamboozle them. Now, according to him, let me start by telling the whole world that Godwin Ono Gogase Obaseki, the governor of Edo State, is a complete failure because he has failed the Edo people. Those who clapped for him with the slogan of 4 plus 4 have seen the colossal failures of the 4 plus 4, Ogbane Mantra, which has turned out to be a catastrophic outing for which all his supporters 
are now regretting and leaking their wounds quietly in frustration. He further added that these coming elections will portend varied degree of surprises for Obasiki, as according to him, at this coming election, the Edo people would not vote for the People's Democratic Party because Godwin Obaseki can no longer deceive them. He has nothing to show the people in his scorecard as an achievement because he has achieved nothing in particular. Now, still speaking, he said, the deceits of Obaseki are legendary. We saw the vice president came into Edo State to commission an industrial park. Which industrial park? He has skillfully and deceitfully collected those people's land and they are all crying now. I am a member of the board of trustee host communities of Nigeria producing oil and gas. Part of them are my area where I am a BOT member. And he has taken their land and has gone to do certificate of occupancy. Where is the industrial park? Is that not deceitful? How many can I count? He has collected Gelegele land for a phantom seaport. Where is the Gelegele port? He has collected their land and done a certificate of occupancy. Their land is gone. Billions of Naira gone with the winds in the name of MOU and Bogos consultancies. Consultancy here, consultancy there, consultancy everywhere, every time. It is all gimmick. He cannot deceive the Edo people again, so the All Progressives Congress and Bola Ahmed Tinubu will win more than 75% votes in Edo states in the coming general elections. Who will listen to Obasiki during this election? Is it the people of Edo South whom he has collected all their lands? He further added that Obaseki is not an experienced politician. That is why he cannot see the handwriting on the wall that he is being covered in a shattered umbrella, a house divided against himself. Does he think one faction of the PDP will come and work with the other faction during this coming election? It beats my imagination how and why Obaseki cannot see the handwriting on the wall. Since the passage of Chief Tony and any of blessed memory, the PDP has never remained the same in Essan land. You can see that the PDP is also divided against itself in Essan land, and that is to the advantage of the APC. One group will never work with the other. A group that used to fight us are now enemies to one another. We will simply take one faction and use it against each other. Well, that is it on the details of today's report. Until we'll come your way next time, please do well to stay safe. Bye-bye.